Well, hey everybody. Uh, today's project is a three by three queen castle. So it's three frames, three chambers of three frames a piece. Um, full length. So um, what this is used for is if you're out doing your bee inspections and you see a queen cell, you just make a split right away from that hive into this. It doesn't take much resources. It's, it's a small little area. It's got an integral feeder and it's got these inspection covers that can be lifted if you only want to inspect one at a time or manipulate one at a time. You don't have the rest of the bees flying around um, in your business. It has uh, closable entrances and they're different colors too so <clears throat> your bees orient to blue it's less likely that they're going to go to red. The center chamber the entrance is on the other side of the hive. So I can stand on this side or on this side and work it. Um, pretty basic construction. First thing you do is you build the box and I've got a video about that. Um, and then um, it's got a permanently attached fixed bottom. And there's no reason in my mind to, to have an opening or anything. It's, it's a very temporary home. This is a, a one by eight, which is seven and a quarter. I added three quarter inch, so the total chamber depth minus the the inset of the inspection cover, total chamber depth is eight inches. You lose a quarter inch for this dado, so seven and three quarter inches for a six and a quarter inch frame. <clears throat> Gives them a little bit of room on the top to get to the feeders. Gives them a little bit of room on the bottom. Uh, tried to put the entrance low enough that they could drag out their dead. Just like in Monty Python. Um, but anyway, this is a fun project. Um, woodworking skill beginner. A good one. Um, I'm in my, I don't know, third or fourth year of beekeeping. And I'm finally starting to want to experiment and mess around and do some things. So as far as construction, very simple. Um, I'm going to learn how to manage it, obviously, as I go throughout the season. But <clears throat> something that was... Uh, in my mind to build and I, I finally had the time and materials to build it so um, anyway let's get started so I did some scribbling and some figuring and what we ended up with is for three chambers you'll get about a, half, a four and a half inches with your uh, divider so this is four and a half and this is four and a half and this is just a littlest bit more than four and a half we're not going to worry about it because um, what I had here is some um, plywood. I bought it for another project and I used it and that was cool. But I got it at a discount because A, it was cut off and B, it was water damaged. So anyway, I don't feel bad at all about using this uh, plywood as my divider board. So what we'll do now is we still have the data blade in and we'll basically we'll cut out these channels. Uh, it's already set to 3 8 inch deep for the rabbits. And we'll cut these channels into two end boards. Uh, the other way is a little bit different than your typical medium. And this is the 1 by 8 full width, so it's 7 and 1 quarter. And the rabbit, instead of being 5 8 inch deep, it's a full inch deep here. This is still 3 quarter, but this is 1 inch. And uh, these will be 3 8 inch deep by around a half inch. Um, we went a little deeper, and you'll see why here in a little bit, but uh, on the frame rests on both ends. So uh, next thing we'll do is we'll set the fence up, get these figured out, and get the dados plot out, and then we can assemble the box at that point. So we have the box built, and we're going to do a solid bottom. And uh, so I got a salvage board. A new 1x8 and a new 1x3, I think. Anyhow, worked out really good because the uh, I didn't have to trim anything. So, um, but we had we do have them half lapped. Um, again, I think I had another video where I did that, and that was so if they do pull apart, there's still no daylight gap. Well, I ended up deciding not to do the um, pretty neat opening doors uh, for a couple reasons. Um, I've got these spinny discs and they're all different colors 
30 pack of them from Amazon. Anyhow, so that's what we use, but uh, I looked here, this is a three inch wide, I'm sorry, three quarter inch wide, and there's probably about an inch of room beneath, and that's, that's by design. Even with the deeper frame rests, I wanted room in case you get a swarm cell on the bottom of your comb. I don't want to pinch it when I put it in here if I if I use it for that. And honestly, if they if they overbuild a little bit, um, I'm, I'm not going to be too concerned. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip down some three quarter by three quarter and fix them to the bottom of the box, and then fix the bottom of the I lost my words. Fix the floor to the to the box that way. Um, this is all just going to be screwed. Try to say screws and glued at the same time. Screwed, not glued. Um, probably use staples just to hold it, and then screws to make it fast. The bottom is fixed on there with the three quarter inch shim attached to the box, and then the bottom attached to that. Um, what we have to do now is we have to fix down these because you see where the gap the rabbit for the divider i chose not to follow that all the way down and so we need to make up that difference and that's that same three quarter inch stock uh, we'll just staple it down and that will let the half inch plywood that will cut um, slide in rest on this and not let the bees transfer from one side to the other so the measurement for the half inch plywood will be the length of the box, 19 and some change, whatever. By height is whatever this is, all the way up to the top, at least the top of the rabbit. So we'll figure that out, get that cut, and uh, install those. So we have the compartment dividers. They're just uh, gravity fit, theoretically removable, not really seeing the case where that's going to be what we'll be doing with them. But uh, they are proud of the box height. And you'll see why. Because the next thing we'll do is we're going to cut some 1x6. And we're going to cut it so that it, it rabbits and lays in to each compartment. And we, we cut this so it should be basically flush with the top cover boards that we're going to cut from that one by six and uh, as well we're going to we're not only going to rabbit them and the outside two we're going to we're going to rabbit three sides the inside we only have to rabbit the two ends to uh, sit down in but we're going to drill a two and three eighths i think it is a hole for jar feeders and then um, be ready for handles and drilling the exit holes well, there she is uh, everything's done but the paint. I wanted to put the entrance tiles on and the jar feeders just as a as a demonstration. But the <clears throat> entrance discs are different colors and the middle one is on the other side of the hive. If you can see the jar feeders, they're on the opposite side of the entrance. So kind of discourage robbing. Um, so if you had your entrance feeder right at the, or if you had your feeder right at the entrance, that might encourage other critters to come in and try to, to get their stuff. So we have here uh, integrated jar feeders and um, inspection covers. So here, um, if we want to just look into chamber number one, we can do that. Chambers two and three. Um, cannot get out it's B tight it's uh, good to go there um, B tight down in here and <clears throat> all we need to do now is paint it and as far as weather tight um, what you do is you you put your inner cover slash feeder slash inspection covers on and then you'll put another box on top of that with a with the proper lid so um this isn't exposed to the weather if, if you live in ohio you don't leave anything out to the weather like that uh, maybe if you live somewhere nice uh 
I know it's nice, don't get me wrong. Weather is unpredictable is what I'm saying. So anyway, uh, fun project. And I uh, hope this gives you the confidence to build yours. And if you see a button down in the lower right of the screen, it says uh, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. If not, just give me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions or if you built your own. Um, I'd love to see it. So thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful.